Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and I did this for the slew of the top teams already in Sweden, Finland, America, and now it's Team Canada's turn, as they are absolutely stacked, uh, arguably with the American and Finnish teams. Obviously, I would probably rank the teams, unfortunately, um, since I'm a Team USA guy, but Canada, USA, Finland, if I'm ranking the rosters coming into this one, which makes sense, because since 2013, those are the only opponents that have actually won the World Juniors, where before that, the 2012, the last one, was Sweden, who's still a good scrappy team that comes in, and then Russia tends to just be like the New York match, where they always put a good team on the ice, they just can't win. But when it comes to Team Canada, you have Connor Bedard, who is one of the most dirtiest players for the 2022 draft. Um, the guy that people are saying is the next Mecca, the next dude that is going to be in the league um, in 2022 draft eligible, Connor Bedard. So um, <clears throat> I, I think uh, that's going to go a long way, having him on the team. Or 2023 draft eligible. I don't know why it says 2022. And then you have um, Maverick Bork from Dallas. He can shoot the puck really well. Willie Coley, Elliot Desnoyers, who I already did a video on because he's a Flyers prospect. Ridley Craig, who had a very good goal in the pre-tournament game. Dylan Gunther, who's going to be great for Arizona. They need as much great young talent as they can get there, and he's going to be a good one. Kent Johnson, who looked fantastic in the pre-tournament game. Mason McTavish, who had that silky goal with his hands in the pre-tournament game. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Jake Neighbors, Perfetti, Justin sort of fantastic in front of the net. I mean, these teams are absolutely uh, stacked. And then you have on defense, Carson Lambos, one of the better defense prospects with Minnesota. Caden Goulet, a very good defense prospect with Montreal. Ryan O'Rourke, a very good one with Minnesota, who doesn't even need more defense, and that's going to help them tenfold. Owen Power, who's absolutely disgusting with Buffalo. So, like, this team, even Olin Zellweger um, with Anaheim, he looked very good, I thought, in the pre-tournament game. So this team is moving very good. They're moving in the right direction. you got Dylan Garand, you got Sebastian Kosh, you got Brett Brochu um, in net, who's eligible for this year's draft, I'm pretty sure, with Brochu. But this team is absolutely loaded at the defense core, the forward core, and is very good at goaltending as well. Obviously, we saw an intense battle between goaltenders between U.S. and Canada's goaltenders in the tournament last year for who was basically the hottest hand. But... And this one, that could end up being the battle again because both teams have great goaltending, both teams have great forward cores, and both teams have very good defenses. So I wouldn't be surprised if the tournament ends up rounding up just to as it did last year since they're in different groups if it comes down to being U.S. and Canada again just because of the way things are shaped. They have a stacked forward core, they have a stacked defense, and they have very good goaltending. Both teams, it wouldn't surprise me if that is the case. The other team... Um, that would probably be able to get in there at this point would either be Sweden or Finland from either bracket because Russia, I would say Russia, but like I said, Russia tends to be like the Mets for some reason and always bring forth a good team and then collapse at the worst times. So I'm not committing to them whatsoever for predictors for the uh, World Junior Championship, that's for damn sure. But all in all, Canada is, I would say, like I said, ranking-wise, the best team coming in just on paper in the tournament. Obviously, nothing on paper matters. It matters what you do on the ice. But they had a very good pre-tournament game. They look very good on paper. I would rank them first, America second, Finland third, probably Russia fourth by roster, and then Sweden fifth. But if I'm just doing it by how I would project them to do, I might even put Sweden fourth just because Russia tends to, for whatever reason, not impressed enough um, in this tournament as they should, in my opinion, with the roster on paper. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this video on Team Canada being absolutely loaded this holiday season. I hope you all had a great Christmas and are having a very good holiday season as a whole. Stay safe out there, everybody. And please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoyed the content to help us get to 185 by the new year or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the World Juniors.